This one's coming. Yep, see my one. I find this is Jennifer. Hi, Captain. Um, so I I'm still working with IFC on this. They're trying to speak to the supervisor to see if it can get approved to um delay it. Um it looks like it will need to be delayed by an hour. But I need to get it by them first. So I'm waiting for an answer. But we can do, if you'd like to do the brief, we can do it now, just so we're ready for that. But I may have to send another top copy to you. It's just this time, is what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, I just want this. All right. Let me conference you in with maintenance control. Okay, one moment, please. John from maintenance control on the line. Hello. So we have aircraft seven. Okay, sounds good. So we got aircraft seven seven five CK EPAPs authorized for one eighty. We have no MELs or DMIs that affects our ETOP system. This will not be a verification flight. We also have your AP was green. You got your PDC signed off today at the time of 0910Z, which gives you an expiration time of 1210Z, and you have a control number of 0226. How does that sound to you? Sounds okay. Okay, control copies. Thank you. Okay, thank you, John. Yep. Okay, Captain. Um... So, okay. So we have the PDSZ window is uh, 0910 Zulu, ending at 1210 Zulu. We are on flight plan number 1697, aircraft 775 Charlie Kilo. We are planned at 180 minutes due to route of operation. We have no applicable. MELs, CDLs, or COIs. AP status, as he mentioned, is green. It's not a verification flight, and there's not an ETOPS restriction. Your time from takeoff to ETOPS entry is one hour and four minutes. You'll be in ETOPS airspace for five hours and 59 minutes. With one engine out, long range cruise altitude capability is 19,900 feet. Based on an aircraft weight of 658,711 pounds. Terrain hazards, Moron, along your route are Mount Fuji, west of Haneda, or JTT, at 14,700 feet. Also, Mora, northwest of AYPY, which is Port Morrisby, Papua New Guinea, is 17,000 feet. The critical fuel required for all engine decompression will be at ETP number two. You have a fuel pad of 22. 22,294 pounds, and this does include an ice penalty. The significant weather in your ETOPS airspace 
Um, it looks like it's the eastern on the eastern part of Papua New Guinea, kind of on the western part of your route um, from waypoints Peacock to um, and Z. Looks like there's some possible scattered, broken convection there. Your ETOPS alternates are RJPT, um, Haneda, um, PGUM, Guam, and YBBN, Brisbane. In RJTT, it looks like it's quad nines, for otherwise. In Guam, over six touch miles, vicinity showers. And in Brisbane, it looks like it's a cap OK. All airports are available for 24 hours. Your adequate airports are RJBB, Kansai, AYPY, Morris Morris B, Papua New Guinea, and BWAK, Wake Island. So if there aren't any further changes, and there may be, as we have discussed regarding your departure time, um, we will speak um, again one hour before your ETOPS entry. Do you agree? Are you, do you concur, Captain? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I will send your. Um, are you talking about the map? Was it not? Was it not sent to you? Um, it sounds like we will need to. Yes, we'll need to contact each other. Um, either I can call you, or you can call me. What would be easiest for you? Um, as soon as, as soon as possible, um, but um, it looks like I mean according to there's there's curfew, you'll need to arrive an hour later. So I mean I would say probably an hour later. But um, let me um, I, let me get this um, confirmed with IFC, and um, we will speak again shortly. Okay. Okay, absolutely. And let me just um, make sure I understood what you were requesting. You like the ETOPS map. Was it emailed to you originally? Yes. 